Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are going to be playing Danganronpa version 3, Killing Harmony, for an episode of Made in Japan. Now, the demo for Danganronpa V3 has been around for a while, but this one is going to be in English, which would be a good start. I have never played a single one of the Danganronpa game series, so this is going to be completely new for me. Um, I'm curious to know what is coming. I'm just curious. Oh, sorry. Look at the Spike Chun soft logo. I'm going like, should there be noise already? Download or distribution of this game software without knowledge of the consent of its copyright really is strictly prohibited by law. All characters appearing in this game are fictional. Any of the most real persons living and dead are purely coincidental. We didn't give you time to actually be able to read the messages. So we're just going to jump through here, check, uh, moving Bob on and off, look invert. <laughs> Control shooter Danganronpa? <laughs> There's actually two ways of doing it. <gasps> There's a Japanese or English language. <laughs> Alright, um, are we going to stick with the Japanese? Or, because the thing is, this is going to be fully voiced up now, so. Uh, I was kind of excited, I was kind of excited to be doing fake voices, but we'll actually leave it as is. Uh, well, we'll let the English voices uh, play through because I'm it's an English translation of the game. We'll see what we got. Uh, you, mm, we'll let the English one try. We're gonna play the because this is the English release of the demo, so we're gonna let the English version play. Let those voice actors show their talent. In this demo, you may start by exploring the school or just skip ahead to the class trial. During the class trial, the evidence you gather while explore, exploring will be presented as your debate. If this is your first time, it's strongly recommended that you start from the beginning. Where would you like to start from playing? Alright, start from the beginning, it looks like. So I have to actually wander around to find evidence. Boom, 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 boom. Somebody was shot with a bullet! Katie Akamatsu J1BO Kurumi Tojo Run Taro Mani Mami Shuichi Sahara Sumugi Shirogai Godoro Gokanagana Tenko Jabarashira Kukichi Uma All together Maki Haru Harugami, Rekio Shuji, Himikyu Yumenko, Anji Yonaga, Ryoma Hoshi, Miyu Iruma, Kaito Momota. It's all of them, folks. They're all going to die because of Monokuma. So, I don't know the context for all of this lunacy, but I assume actually it's almost like an assassination classroom kind of thing. Um, each one of the people are committed a crime, since you research it through until there's only like one of you left or none of you left, or you're the only person who's trying to judge all these people to stop yourself from getting killed. Is that what it is? Is that what, is that what Danganronpa is? Because I might get into this really, really fun. If this is like a Phoenix Wright, but with murder, this might could this might really work. I guess I should start by introducing myself. My last name roughly means passionate red maple tree. It doesn't really fit me, but I still like my name. Huh? Wait, who am I even talking to? I was walking my usual route to Skrull when. Huh? Why is it so dark? Hmm. 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 Uh. Looks like a kiddo. Yeah, it's a classroom all right, but I don't recognize it at all. Oh, are you awake? Good morning, Kaede. Uh, huh? 
Oh, this is voice acted, but it's like only partially voice acted. Sucks! You suck! You suck! If you're going to do all the voices, do them all the way through. Who are you? How do you know my name? Do we know each other? I don't remember you, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I scared you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Makoto Naegi. I'm, I'm the ultimate lucky student. Lucky student. Huh? Ultimate lucky student? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the student at this academy. Every year they choose one student in the whole country by lottery. And they attend this academy as the ultimate lucky student. I see. Only one student in the entire country? That's amazing! You must be really lucky. Hmm, I don't know how luck could be considered an ultimate talent. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. And I suppose I'm your upperclassman. Yeah. Nice to meet you again, ultimate pianist Kaede. What? You're my upperclassman? Well, I'm very sorry, Mr. Makoto. I thought... <laughs> Don't worry about it. No need for the mister. Huh? Wait, now that I think about it, I haven't even introduced myself yet. How did you know I was the ultimate pianist? Pia, pia, piano, piano, piano. <laughs> oh, information about the new students is public record. I just looked at that. Um... New students? I already attend a high school, though. Hey, Makoto, where are we? What is this academy? Hey. Maybe it's best I just show you. Could you try checking that desk? That desk? Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation of the controls. Use the left stick to the reticle on the screen. When you have a target in your sight, press the circle button to investigate it. The R stick controls your view. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the R1 button to smack objects around. Who knows? You might find something amazing. You can always press the L1 button to return objects to their original position. So relax. However, not every object is able to be moved. Thank you for understanding. If you press the triangle button, a mysterious investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information. But if you forget anything, you can click the options button to view the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. You, that's how you progress the story, you know? Uh, whack the thing. Whack all the things. Whack the guy. Boom! Boom! Move, bitch! Get out the way! Whitch. I might as well investigate the desk. I was resting my head on this desk when I woke up. Oh, I drilled a little on it. And you clean that letter. So, on this desk, there's... A letter? If you want to progress the story, come to the gym! But please be careful, there are other people wandering around. If you talk to them, you'll end up having to listen to their introductions. Deja vu! It's just been in this place before. Er, uh, sorry. There's no time for that right now. Anyway, come to the gym. Seriously, please! Seriously, please? What do you mean by please? I feel like this is a prank. But I wonder what's at the gym and who are these people? Oh, ah! Losing the voice. But I wonder who that what's at the gym and who are these other people? Wait, so is... Am I... Am I Kaede? I checked my desk like I was told, but I'm even more confused now. Hey. So I'm Kaede. Okay, right now I've got it. Because I honestly could not, I didn't understand what the narrative was doing there. I don't know if it was actually, person watched Kaede wake up, and then somebody spoke afterwards. So I'm Kaede Akimatsu. Okay, she has a very manly interior monologue voice. We're sticking with it. <laughs> hey Makoto, does this mean that there are other people in this academy besides us? You aren't the only you aren't the only new student. Everybody's waiting for us outside. It might be good to greet everyone before we head over to the gym. Of course, if you wanted to, you could go straight there. It's up to you. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Wait, I'm a new student? What does that mean? Jeez, why is this happening? What the hell is this academy? 
You can leave a room. You can leave a room by pressing the X button. By or by. Aha! You can leave a room by pressing the X button or interacting with the door. Ah. Uh. What the? Knock over all the things! No. Alright, so is there actually stuff everywhere that I can actually hit? Wait, there's a blackboard! Why did we not look at the blackboard? Is this a blackboard? It's not weird to see a blackboard in a school. The blackboard is also an LCD screen. It's something you don't see every day. Smack the screen! Is it modern? Nothing's on display. It definitely does not feel like a school. Can't escape the windows! I can see moss outside the window, but there's barbed wire on them. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Alright, so we're gonna leave this room. Yes. The music's not too bad. I actually like the chilled out tunes. The tunes are actually quite enjoyable. <laughs> you move through the hallway with the L stick. If you hold down the L1 button while moving, you can run! You can also look around with the R stick. Pressing the triangle button will bring up a large map. What a convenient world this has become! Well then, off you go! Find your classmates! Okay, so this is actually each introduction. Oh hey there, you guys get kidnapped too? Well, you look both look alright, that's good. Situation could be better though. Yeah, totally. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? I don't really remember, but maybe Makoto knows? He seems to be a student of this academy, too. Oh, is that right? You know, but even I don't fully understand how I got here. Huh? huh? Really? So you don't uh, remember how you got here, either? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Everyone? I asked the others, too. They all said they don't remember. The others don't remember, either. It's like, we all have amnesia or something. I guess so. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I I'm sure we'll remember eventually. Sure, could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. In any case, I hope we remember soon. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. The outcast? What do you mean? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? <laughs> I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? My name is Rintaro Amami. At the moment. Nice to meet you. Ren Tower Amami. Ultimate. Oh, Makoto, you saw the documents about all the incoming freshmen, didn't you? Did you happen to see what Ren Tower's talent was? Well, in the document I received, I didn't see anything about Ren Tower. Huh? huh? Really? <laughs> then maybe I'm here by mistake. To be honest, I don't remember anything about being a freshman either. No, that's not true. You're an ultimate student, without a doubt. Hmm. You sound awfully sure. Yeah. Well, it's not so strange that you weren't on the document. It only contained public information. Some ultimates don't want their talents known so openly. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. One day, your talent will become clear. Heh. <laughs> well, I'll take it. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what my ultimate I... Well, what kind of ultimate I am. Anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Stop that. We'll escape soon. You really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? What do you mean? Eh, nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to. 
I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Okay, well, that's one down. Holy shit! This guy looks like he should have came out of like a giant robot army. Uh, whoa! This guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, uh, excuse me. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Huh? Yes, thank you. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry for scaring. Um. Um. Gonta scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. So Gonta like gentlemen. Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, right. Gonta need to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta's talent is Ultimate Entomologist! Gunta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen. Gunta's goal. Gunta's goal. Entomologist? Oh, so you're Gunta. That's a really cute name. R really? Th um, thank you. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. I see, cause Gunta scary girl looking, right? Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called Scary since he was kid. Since you were a kid? Huh? By the way, you said you're an entomologist? Right, what? Y you like bugs too? Huh? Huh? Bugs? Well, uh... You hate bugs? Huh? Wait, what? You, 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 you hate bugs? No, of course not. I, I don't hate them. I, I, I love them. Oh, okay. That's good. No bad person likes bugs. Uh, yeah. You're right. Even if you don't like bugs, I wouldn't want to break that news to Gonta. To be honest, I don't really like bugs, but I should keep it a secret. Alright. You've got your own level of crazy to deal with. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, so moving around the hallway, moving around the hallway. So, no, nobody here. Well, this just does a lap around. I wonder if anybody's actually inside that room. Was there? No? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. Oh! Haha! -ha. Alright. So there's Angie Yonaga and Hajime. Hajime! I wonder if that person's an ultimate student. I should go ask. Hmm? Oh, hey, Makoto. Something wrong? Yeah. Hajime, this is Keiri Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. He's also your upperclassman, Keiri. Oh, he's another upperclassman? You better turn on the charm, then. Um, I'm Keiri Akamatsu. Nice to meet you, sir. My name is Hajime I think I'm a great ahead of you. I think I'm a great ahead of you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Hajime Hinata! Ultimate... Eh, who gives a shit? You think you're a great ahead? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Well, I, I don't... I don't really have an ultimate talent like the rest of you have. Huh? You're here. Huh? You're not an ultimate? Well, Hajime, we have seniority, but... She's the protagonist this time around. Protagonist? Right. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I guess you're an underclassman of mine. Feel free to talk to me if you got any plat problems, K80. Um, thank you very much. Not only ultimate students were gathered here, but I guess that's not the case. And also, what did they mean by protagonist? Protagonist. Hmm. I'm, I'm intrigued by this. Yaha! How are ya? And a guy. I'm the ultimate artist. Naga, let me paint you! Hey, the god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh well, she's certainly divine. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, I do both. 
I draw drawings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atu is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. <laughs> How divine! I see. Uh, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course! Of course, of course! In return, will you make an offering? Huh? An offering? Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday mornings on my island, a trip comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a paint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I don't know if she's friendly or not, but she's not easy to approach. Okay. Bloodletting! Ha <laughs> ha! Do, 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 do. Continuing on the search. Oh, bathrooms. Woohoo! I'll just wait here. I think I made the situation awkward. Oh, there's somebody actually in here. Alright, let's see what's going on here with Miu Aruma. Hey, what are you looking for? Don't sneak up on me, bitch! I literally just met you and you've already called me a bitch. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? Go down history. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to sass up that voice for I'm just gonna keep on with the one that I've got here. Mew Aruma, Ultimate Inventor. Um, I've never heard of you. <laughs> so what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. Eat ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. So oh, this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. Psst, your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep. It was a failure, just like you. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. Well, that's what she does. Time to go out of the bathroom. Uh, thanks for waiting, Makoto. No problem, shall we? Shuichi! Hey, are you a freshman in this academy too? Uh, yeah. I don't remember much, but it appears that is the case. Which means you have an ultimate talent, is that as well, right? I'm Shuichi Sahara. Shuichi Sahara. Ultimate detective. Wait, you're a detective? That's amazing! Uh, no. I, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across and now people call me that. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, my name's Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you, Shuichi. Uh, nice to meet you too. A detective, huh? He doesn't seem doesn't look that reliable. But maybe I can talk to him if I have a problem. Well, problem solved is a problem shared is a problem solved. 
Okay. We'll come back to you. No, you're the only person here. <sighs> Fine. We'll talk to you now then. <laughs> what is it? You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. He, she, you, you, you. I'm called the Anthropologist. I'm pretty sure my voice is too low to be picked up by the mic. Koreikyo Shinguchi. Koreikyo. Koreikyo. Anthropologist? Please call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure. Anthropology. Studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. Sounds like a lot of fun, though. Well, of course it's fun. A study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Huh? Uh, what? I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? <laughs> The people are wonderful! This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one, too. Sidestep. Don't break eye contact. Bye! <laughs> Dining hall. Warehouse. Uh, maybe we go to the gym, so I'm gonna go to the gym. Do, 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 do. Hello there! Mikey Harakawa, ultimate child caregiver. She's the best babysitter in the world! Oh, ultimate child caregiver, huh? Surprise. I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? Hmm. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at talking, taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Mackie. Hmm. Yeah, that must be it. See, you've chosen a perfect career for yourself. It, it wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. It's just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Well, is this the gym? Hey! We've introduced everybody along the way here. So the plot can actually start now. I did what the letter said and went to the gym. wonder what's in here. Hey, Makoto, are you ready to go in? Sorry, but this is where we part ways. I can't go past this point. Because you're the protagonist now, Kiede. Huh? What? From here on, you're the one who's going to learn about the situation we're in. What? You might feel despair, but I don't want you to throw away any hope. Even if there's despair on the horizon, remember that Hajime and I are here to help. Well, see ya. Let's meet up later. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, Makoto! He just left all of a sudden. What's gotten into him? Protagonist? Hope? Spare? What does any of that mean? Jeez, I'm having second thoughts about going into the gym. But there's no point just standing around. I have to face whatever's inside. Dun 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 dun! Oh! So many exciting's happening. 
You finally arrived! Why, hello there, K80! I'm looking forward to doing the voice. I need to change the controls here a wee bit because, uh, no, I can't actually do anything annoying. There's not controls. One handbook square. Right, I'm going to go in here and see if I can change, because the um, controls are a little bit odd. Options, there we go. That's better, because the um, audio, the dialogue was very, very low there. And if I'm not going, if it's going to do lines for me, I don't want to actually be talking over the top of them, so let's see what we've got. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster, you know? I'm kind of a big deal around here. Headmaster? And now a message from your headmaster. You'll all be living out the rest of your lives within the walls of this academy. What? We'll be living out the rest of our lives here? W wait a minute. You just came out of nowhere and... Uh, I don't get any of this. I'm not done talking yet, so please shut up. Thank you. Please shut up! Thank you! <laughs> anyway, if you want to leave the academy, there's a, there's a special graduation requirement! <laughs> I'll explain what this requirement entails. While you live together, you're all responsible for maintaining the harmony of the academy. But if someone was to disrupt that harmony, then they'd get to leave. You with me so far? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> it's simple, really. <laughs> A student must kill another student. <laughs> kill? Whether it's stabbing, bludgeoning, slicing, burning, crushing, strangling, poisoning. The method doesn't matter. The student that kills one of their classmates gets to leave. Work hard to make your undesirable means justify the most desirable end! <laughs> Don't mess around with us! I would never... murder anyone! <laughs> Don't you see, Kaede? This is how your story begins! Jeez... My story, what does that even mean? Oh! You don't know? Didn't Makoto say something eerily similar before coming here? Um... You know Makoto? Yeah? Yeah? Don't worry about the veteran. This is your story after all. <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! More importantly, I've prepared rooms for you new students in the dormitory. You should check out your room. I'm sure things have gotten very interesting by now. To the dorms, quickly! You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there! <laughs> My room? <laughs> Though I had no idea what was going on, I turned away from Monokuma regardless. I've heard so many strange terms today. New student, protagonist, killing game. I'm so exhausted, I barely have the energy to feel confused by any of this. I don't care what the bear says. I will not be part of some killing game. Makoto's still not back. I'm a little worried, but for now, I should go to the dorms. I wonder which room is mine. It looks like each door has a portrait on it. Oh, is it this one? Huh? But it's not just mine. 
Makoto and Hajime's portraits are on here too. I'll answer that. Don't worry, I'm happy to explain. <laughs> hey, um. Hey, um. This room has been prepared for the three of you to share it. It's purely a penny pinching measure. It might seem cramped, but I'm sure you'll make it work. I'm a girl. I can't agree to this at all. Yeah. Shenanigans in co-ed dorm rooms are the most juvenile of juvenile fantasies, you know? And, and any indecent behavior in the wholesome halls of the academy will be severely punished. But in the dorms, you can do whatever you want, and I will look the other way. You three will stay in the protagonist room, because I want you all to get along. Hey. What do you mean, protagonists? Huh? I'll only answer these types of questions once. Don't just stand there. Go inside already. Please. You're the one who stopped me. I haven't decided whether I'm sleeping here, but it's definitely not okay with this. I'm definitely not okay with this. Anyway, I should go inside. Huh? Huh? What? What happened? This room's a mess. Why? What the hell happened in this room? Slash marks covered the bed and walls. As if someone had gone on a rampage in here. This is a closet, right? You should check inside just to be safe. Hmm. Wait a sec. This isn't just my room. It's also Makoto and Hajime's. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't open it. There might be stuff in there they don't want me to see. It's a normal bed, but it's pretty damaged. Um, what does this mean? What happened in here? I peeked into the shower room, and there I saw... What? what? This can't, this can't be, be happening, can it? It, it can't be! be. He's, dead? He's dead? A body has been discovered! a certain amount of time passes, a class trial will be held! Huh? Class trial? Yahoo! Yahoo! It's a class trial to determine who killed Yushiro Hagakure, the ultimate clairvoyant! To tell you the truth... To tell you the truth, this is like... The second time he's died already? Eh, you guys can just ignore that. Hey, um... Hey, uh, although you must kill someone to be eligible to graduate, killing alone is not enough. You must kill someone without the other students finding out what you did. In order to make sure the culprit has met their requirement, <laughs> once a murder occurs, a class trial will be held after a certain amount of time. During the class trial, you'll present your arguments to who you think the killer is. If you're correct, only the black end killer will receive punishment. And the rest of you will keep on living here together. But if you pick the wrong person, Psycho! the black end killer will get off scot-free, and everyone else will receive punishment. Anyway, those are the rules of the class trial! W what the... Well, now. Now I gotta hand these out before you start investigating. The file containing all the information I've gathered about the victim. I call it the Monokuma file. After all, it's not like you guys are pros at examining dead bodies or anything. So I made sure to gather in full and through, such as the time and cause of death. Now then. Now then, go forth and investigate. I'll see you all at the class trial. Stop it. No, oh, wait. Wait a minute. No way! <laughs> That's fine! I promise this all pay off! You'll just gotta focus like you're pulling an all-nighter! Ah, uh, jeez! 
I've never pulled an all-nighter. You can't just expect bring an investigation on us like this. <laughs> Talking to me is just a waste of time. Save it for the class trial. <laughs> See you later. The voice is completely gone. Ugh. Jesus! Doing the Monokuma voice is actually really hurts. Uh, wait! In the end, Monokuma just ignored me and disappeared. I have to investigate and find out who killed Yash uh, Yasuhiro. Someone in this academy actually killed someone. Ah! Uh, he, he, he's really dead? Sheesh. Uh. Even though the killing game just started, it seems like someone was impatient. What? 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 Are you saying the killing game started? It seems as if... The killing game followed by a class trial. Which means Monokuma was serious after all. Yeah. That's right. We're going to investigate this murder and find the culprit at the class trial. Katie, you got the Monokuma file, right? Um... I yeah. Monokuma just shoved it into my hands before I could say anything. But... I know it's annoying having... Him decide things on his own, but we should look at the Monokuma file first. It might have important clues. Hmm. Yeah, um. The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure. The time of death is 1 30 p.m. The body was discovered in the protagonist's room in the dormitory. The victim died in the bathroom. The killing blow was a stab to the abdomen de delivered with a knife. Aside from the killing blow, no other injuries can be seen. Monokuma file has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopod. Ew. Ew, 1.30 p.m. That was just a few minutes ago. Ugh, his death is still fresh. <clears throat> Here was a student at this academy. He was your upperclassman. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hey. Why did I hear die? In order to solve that, we need to investigate. If we look around for clues, we're bound to find something. There should be some in this room. Then we need to talk to any witnesses. We should also find where the weapon came from. Understood. Yes, yes, but please do not spread yourself too thin. Let's proceed one step at a time. Yeah. Uh, okay, we just have to do it, right? We should check in here just in case. Makoto and Hijimi's stuff might be in here, but this is an emergency. Sorry about this, guys. I slowly opened the door. W what is this? Uniforms for all three of us were packed inside. What does this mean? I don't feel too good about this. N no, I don't have time for that. I need to look for more clues that can lead me to the culprit. So I checked inside. There's nothing suspicious here. Well, the uniforms themselves are suspicious, but... The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure, the ultimate clairvoyant. Who would do this, and why? The knife lodged in his abdomen. I is that a kitchen knife? Hmm. There's a kitchen in the dining hall. Maybe the knife came from there. Blood everywhere, on the floor, and on the handle of the kitchen knife, too. But I can't figure out why, but something seems strange about the blood on the handle. Am I imagining things? The walls of this room are covered in slashes, which means there was a struggle in this room between two people. Why this room? an investigation that's pretty forward thinking of you even if you're used to seeing dead bodies it'd be stupid not to feel anything hmm. to be honest i feel confused scared and disgusted by all of this but we have to do this i, I don't want everyone else to die <laughs> you're rather motivated to stay alive i wish i had no no 
Never mind. But, anyway, even though we are just told to do the killing game, somebody already took action. Normally you'd be hesitant, that is, unless you have a strong motive. That's right. It's not that easy to kill, even if someone is forcing you to do it. There's no way someone could suddenly adapt to a situation like this, right? May I? Katie, uh, Jimmy, this room belongs to you as well as Makoto, correct? Um... Yeah, that's right. Of course, I never agreed to it at all. Mean? I have one question. Have any of you set foot in this room since your arrival at the Academy? No. I haven't. The first time I came to this room was when I discovered Hero's body. Mm. After the body's discovery announcement was the first time I went in here, too. What about it? For everyone. In actuality, I have cleaned every room in the dormitory since I arrived at this academy. Merely a light cleaning, mind you, but at any rate, this dormitory should have been spotless. Naturally, that includes this room as well. Huh? When? Huh? I mean, I know you're the ultimate maid and all, but wow! I do not agree. I provided this service to help everyone here relax. Please do not worry about it. Anyway, please take a look at this. I found it on the floor when I first arrived here. Is this hair? It's brown like Hero's hair. You know? Isn't Hero's hair long? I think this hair is a bit too short to be his. Do you think a piece of his hair was cut off during the struggle in the room? <laughs> <laughs> the carbon matches the dreams! I bet that's a rogue cube from one of his tub sessions. <laughs> but can you blame him? He was stuck in the skull of a busty beauty like me, after all. No comment. Short brown hair, huh? Things like this might seem trivial, but sometimes they're important. What? Are, are you ignoring me? I, I know you guys heard me! That is correct. Only people with hair of a similar color and length are Hajime and Makoto. Huh? Huh? Yeah. This is the first time you've entered this room, correct? Hajime? What about Makoto? Um... I haven't asked him yet. May I? Of course, a single strand of hair is not much of a lead. But at the very least, we should listen to Makoto's account. Yeah. You're right. You know, I haven't seen Makoto since we went our separate ways. Before I went to the gym. I wonder where he went. Alright, that was a lot of information pulled in. Who the hell is Kaito? We haven't actually met him yet. Always messing around. So does this mean someone believed that our... The only way to get out of here was by killing someone? <laughs> hmm. The dead body is proof of that. There's no way a body would end up quite like this by accident. Damn it. Damn it! Why'd they kill him? Why didn't they just talk things over with us? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't searched the whole school yet. There could still be a way out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right! And they resorted to this right off the bat! When we find the culprit, I'm gonna put some sense back into him! There's a monitor here, but nothing's on display right now. What if these monitors have been installed all over the school? There's nothing out of the ordinary about this lighting. I'm me is the only one I haven't spoken to Dragon. <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you laughing, me? Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Oh, God bless it. I love me. Fuck all y'all. It's just you guys are dumber than fleas and twice as insignificant. 
<laughs> How could I not laugh? <laughs> what do you mean? Listen up! Listen up! If you ask me, solving this case is easier than making a virgin come in his pants. <laughs> like an anime fan on prom night. <laughs> you want to know, don't you? Well, since I'm feeling generous, I'll tell you. First thought, aren't you weird that no one even met the spiky-haired Deldo before he got murdered? That's a rude thing to call someone, but she's right. Yeah. This is my first time seeing Yasu Yasuhiro. Yeah. Yeah, this is my first time seeing him, too. Got it. Me too, I've never even heard of him. Out of my way! Which means the spiky haired dildo was hiding the whole time. Um Hiding, but why? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Looks like your tits aren't all that pathetic. <laughs> you don't know? Looks like your tits aren't all that pathetic about you. Then Well, uh, you may have been lying in wait for a chance to kill someone. Huh? What? N no way! Out of my way! Anyway! That's not the only thing my golden brain managed to deduce. Listen up. There's another person hiding somewhere, and I bet that's our culprit. What? Huh? There's another person hiding? You might be right, but... But where's the proof? What was that? I got my genius intuition on my side. I don't need any fucking proof. Huh? Huh? So basically you're just imagining things. It's true, though. I don't want to think that one of us might be the culprit. Mm. Besides, Hero wasn't trying to hide. Why, you... What'd you say, you fucking pleb? You saying I'm wrong? That's not it. No, it's true. After I woke up in this academy, I saw Hero walking down the hall over here. I see. Oh, then that just means we never actually saw him. W wait! Oh, wait! Hold on a second! This isn't over yet! Y that's it! I've got an even easier explanation for what went down. The, the culprit is whoever has the key to this room. Booyah! Mick drop, fuckers! You know? Well, no one gave me the key. What? Huh? Really? Come on, man. Hey, come on. Quit your bullshit. You're just making everyone confused. Not cool. Not cool. Instead of saying a bunch of vulgar things, why not use your brain a little? What did I do? But, but I am... For all our big talk and swagger, me is actually pretty meek when confronted. Her theories are completely off base, but she's still trying her best to figure this out. All right. It's all right, me. We still have time, we just have to look for more clues, that's all. What was that? <laughs> you and me? <laughs> Good one, that's almost as funny as your tiny blueberry pancake nipples. <sighs> Why do I try? Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this for much longer. <laughs> this is just driving me insane. Oh, let's check the place a little bit more. What the hell else does she need to look? All right. Let's take a look inside here. Uh, maybe something inside this room that I missed out. Um, is there anything to smash? I'm not gonna punch the body. There has to be more information here, is there? Okay, it's the same information I got previously. Anything else here to actually look at? No. Oh, shit. What is this? Alright, so there's actually like an investigative mode. Okay. Yes, so if I hit triangle, I turn that on. Okay, so the basic idea is that I'm going to be using this to actually get the scan. That's actually so important that I haven't seen yet. Oh, it's, yep, it's the same as it was previously. Investigative mode, nothing. Is 
Somebody else in the closet I missed? I don't see anything else in here that stands out as a clue. Right, I'm kind of lost now because I'm not... But... During my cleaning, I did not see Makoto nor Hiro. I'm curious as to Makoto's whereabouts before the incident occurred. That bothers me too. Okay, so yeah, that's that character's information covered. This one's chat about motive. It's possible that there's someone among us who got used to the idea of killing game real quick. After all, there's someone like me here, so it's very possible. Could someone really go along for killing game just like that? Hero, I can't believe someone was killed here. I can't believe it either, but I don't want to be do this killing game. I wonder if we already met the person who killed us two here. Even so, the reason that's happened is because Momo, the Momono couldn't trap us here. That's true. Hey, Katie, okay, you can talk to me casually. It's just like how you talk to Makoto, you know? You might feel confused after being wrapped up in this case so suddenly, but you can talk to me and Makoto about anything. I mean, we're your upperclassmen after all. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Hajime. Is he trying to calm me down? Seeing how Jimmy keep his cool has helped me calm down a bit. We're already confused about being trapped here and discovering a dead body, but now we have to investigate too? <laughs> this is just too crazy! No. We need to do it in order to survive. It'll be fine as long as we work together. Hey, hey Jimmy, if you want, would you like to investigate together? I think it'll help me a lot, especially since you're calm and reliable. Yes. I'd like that, but since you'll be investigating, I think it's best if I stay here. Huh? What? Yeah. It's hard to believe, but the culprit is one of us here in the academy. Which is why someone needs to guard the crime scene so the culprit can't destroy evidence. I see. I see. That could happen, huh? But, um, since you mentioned the culprit destroying evidence... If I'm the only one here and I was the culprit, I could destroy the evidence. That's wrong! No, no I trust you, Hajime! Yeah. Thanks, but you're right to hesitate. In order for you to keep trusting me, it's best if you stay suspicious. If I stay here alone, I'll have a hard time refuting that I'm accused of destroying evidence. Uh. Oh, that's right. If you stayed behind with another person, Do then. you agree? So, you need a witness to vouch for the integrity of the crime scene, yes? And I shall stay behind as well. Got it. Yeah, thanks. Kurumi and I will stay put to the class trial. I'll leave the investigation to you, K.A. Yeah. O okay, I'll do my best. Hajime is really calm. No, more than calm. It's more like... He has experience with this sort of thing. No, that's crazy of me. Hey! Finally fucking up here. Hero! Uh. Hero. Oh, Makoto! Hmm, hmm. Katie, are you alright? You were the one who found the body, right? Um... Yeah, I'm shocked, but I should be fine. We don't have time to stand around, though. I got it! I got it! I see! L let's let's go together! Rising Shiner sign! Okay. Rise and shine! Rise and shine, you're saying? <laughs> More robot <laughs> More robot bears? Why, why are there so many this time? It's my time to shine! We're the Mono Cubs! Nice to meet ya! Not funny! You know you're for protagonist, your reaction to us was pretty boring. Oh. It's rude to scream at the sight of cute little bears like us. Hey! I'm pissed! I'm gonna call off my bear! I'm gonna cool off by beating the shit out of Mono Dam! Hey! What's all this protagonist talk? Anyway, Monokuma hasn't told me anything! Jeez! Hey, don't ignore me! You bastards! Ask Mono Dam! Asking Mono Dam is useless! That's right! He's closed off his heart to others! Aw, oh, jeez! Why don't you other bears answer me? Shut up! Hey, shut up, you stupid bears! Don't invest interrupt our investigation! Yeah, it'd be a wasteful to show up for no reason, but we didn't come here to interfere either. That's right. Papa Kuma told us to give you punk asses a hint. Huh? Papa? You mean Monokuma? What are you saying? No shit, Sherlock. I mean, look at us. We're clearly his fresh flesh and blood cubs. Do robots even have flesh and blood? Hey. Are you sure it's okay to give them a hint so soon? It's like rewarding a baby with milk when it's been up all night crying. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I prefer honey over milk anyway! Alright! Alright, that's enough messing around. You gotta do the rest on your own. Good luck! 
So long, farewell! So long, farewell! Avidas and goodbye! <laughs> huh? Wait, what's the hint? Jeez. They admitted they came here to mess with us. They never planned to give us a hint. Jeez. Bunch of cowards trying to interrupt my investigation with their stupid crap. Whatever, if I get serious, I can solve this case in no time flat. Hey. I checked every corner of this room as I was looking around. So I can't tag along for the investigation, but I know Makoto will be able to help you. Hey, Makoto, after we split up, where did you go? Um, um, it's not like I suspect you, but I was worried because you never came back. Hey. You can ask me anything. I'm sure you must have questions. Let's see. After we split up, I went around the academy to investigate. Huh? Around the academy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm familiar with this academy, but I noticed that the entrance hall was blocked off. I decided to check everywhere I could to see if there was any way out. Or to find clues about Monokuma. I thought if I could find a map that might help you out, seeing as you're new here. I see. I see. So you were thinking about me, huh? I'm glad I have an upperclassman like you to look at things from a different perspective. No. Oh, well, it wasn't a big deal. I didn't end up finding anything. Hmm. And now that the killing game has begun, we have to focus our attention on that. Hmm. First, we need to do something about this class trial, right? Hey! Yeah, and if you like, I can help out with the investigation. Huh? Really? Yeah. Well, I can't stand by and do nothing. Hero was my classmate. Uh, I see. Hey. Hey, and besides, all of us are supposed to help with the investigation. That's what Monokuma said, right? If we don't discover the culprit, then everyone will be punished. And by punished, he means execution. Huh? What? I just got goosebumps. Waking up in this strange place, being told to do a killing game, then find the dead body. It's been a long time since I felt panic like this. But that panic grabbed hold of my heart and snapped me back to reality. No, not panic. Fear. Hey. Hey, I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but we need to collect evidence for now. It's all right as long as you don't give up. You can fight off any despair. And I'm here to help. So don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ultimate lucky student. Although I might not be that reliable. No. No, you're really reliable. Thank you, Makoto. Makoto said that he encouraged me, so I'll do my best and work harder. Can't let everyone be executed. First, we should figure out where the murder weapon came from. That's right. Yeah, that's right. There's only one place the murder weapon could have come from. Time to rock and roll! Alright, so this is the dormitory. Uh, do I have to actually... Uh, I probably need to talk to everybody here, don't I? Who the hell's that? I haven't talked to you before. Okay. Katie, is it true? Did a murder really happen? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but it's true. Hmm. Are you the culprit? That's wrong! No! I mean, the murder scene was in my room, but... Then... Then... You're the culprit for sure. Ah, uh, jeez! Uh, it wasn't me! wrong. Himiko, you shouldn't say that. We have to investigate first. Mm -hmm. I'm a mage. Murder investigations aren't my speciality. But... We need to work together. We can do this if we try. Yeah, that's right. That's right, or else you'll die. What a pain. Yeah. What a pain. What a pain? Does she not realize our lives are at stake here? <laughs> Alright, so I said you I need to go somewhere. I need to get out of here. I go out the door. So these are there's a lot of people I didn't meet whenever I first walked in there. I should have probably gone through all of the rooms. Ugh, right, making my way back. Bathroom, bathrooms. Going along this way. Canteen! Haha! <laughs> what is that? 
from the cruise school store. Uh, let's annoy Angie while we're at it. Yaha! Yaha! How's it going? Probably not good, huh? Because. Because Hiro got killed in your room. Right, Katie? That means the culprit is either you, Makoto, or Hajime. How exciting! Huh? Huh? Hold on, MG. It's dangerous to go into this with our minds made up. Because Atua says so. Oh, but that's what Atua is telling me. So divine! And Natua is never wrong, you know? So divine! Stop it. Stop. What? What? Yeah! <laughs> Praise be Atua! We are close to solving this case. I'm not going to look to her accuse me with weak reasoning like that. Okay, time to actually clear out this room. Why is it so full of plants? Uh, there's still more people I still don't know in here! God damn it! There we go! There are kitchen knives of various sizes, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it always missing, or...? I need to talk to someone who knows more about this kitchen. Who knows more about this kitchen, though? That's the question. I assume there's gonna be somebody in here that actually does. Oh! <laughs> Just knocking everything off the shelves. <coughs> Ow. Nope, not where I'm looking for. You know? Um, Danko, it looks like the kitchen is short one kitchen knife. Hold on! I didn't take a knife! Um... It's not that. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything about it. That's all. I'm sorry! Oh, I, I I'm sorry for jumping to conclusions! Um, so, I didn't notice earlier that a knife had suddenly disappeared from the kitchen. Huh? What? Can you give me more details? Yes! B before the body discovery announcement, I went to the kitchen to get some tea. At the time, all the knives were still there. Listen up! But when I went to put away the teacups, one of the knives was missing. All the... At the time, I thought it was strange a knife was missing when no one was cooking. Good job! I see. This might be an important clue. Thanks, Tenko. Ha ha ha! I'm honored that I could help you. I would never allow a fe fellow female to be executed. Hey! Um, Tenko, were you drinking tea by yourself in the dining hall? No. Nope, I was with Himiko. She was teaching me the difference between magic and magic tricks. We were here together when the body discovery announcement was made. I see, and during that time, did anyone else come? By the way... I think so. It was just one person. A degenerate male, actually. Hmm. I don't know who, because I wasn't interested in seeing the exact degenerate that walked in. So the kitchen knife was taken while Tenko was in the dining hall. And whoever came to the dining hall during that time is hey. suspicious. Katie, it seems we've got all the clues here. Should we go somewhere else? That's right. That's right. Let's go. I'm starting to get tired. Can we move this along already? At last! The eagerly anticipated class trial! Everyone please assemble at the red door at the end of the hallway! <laughs> See you there! Huh? What, already? We still don't know anything yet. Hey. Katie, they're going to suspect us at this class trial. That's wrong! But I didn't do it! You're right. I know, I didn't do it either. Hey! You can't give up now. No matter what doubts, you or you... You'll never find the truth. I believe in you. Don't forget that. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Makoto believes me, then I'll believe in him, too. Anyway, we just need to deal with this class trial. Um, we need to head to the red door, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, it don't let you actually go anywhere else. Ah, oh, you suck. The 
It's the red door at the end of the hall. Okay, there's literally nobody about anymore. I'm assuming everybody's already inside, probably. That's yeah, rock and roll. So let's do a quick chat. I'm just gonna do a quick check on you guys in the group. Gonna just. <laughs> oh, dude, JP, thank you very much, man. That's really sweet of you. <laughs> the characters look oddly 2D. Yes, they do. Um, sorry, JP, thanks very much, man. That's really cool of you. Oh, I, oh, I wish I had like um. My, oh, like I need to actually set up that stream uh, thing so a notification would pop up whenever somebody does something like that. That's really awesome of you. Thank you very much, dude. That's... Yeah. Thumbs up for you, man. That's awesome. Uh, you're, you're actually my first donation I've ever received on the channel. So thank you very much, JP. I'm sorry I didn't point it out at the time. I just kind of like got focused on what was going on and doing the voices. So, right. I'm assuming we got to jump in here to the class trial now. Um, let's rock and roll and see what we got. Ooh, okay. I think we've got enough information. Or do we? Do we have enough information to be able to solve this crime? Hey. I don't know who half these people are. We met fuck all of them whenever we walked in. Oh, hello, we've finally arrived. <laughs> Hi, hello. Alright, everyone. Find your assigned podium and stand behind it. Hey. Monokuma, I don't know what you're screaming, but I won't let you do whatever you want. You're an upper classman protagonist! I think you can come up with a better line than that! That's wrong! But Jimmy's right! You can't just do whatever you want with their lives! Hey! Jeez! That's basically what Jimmy just said! You two need punch-up riders or something! Whether this demo is exciting or not depends entirely on you! Huh? Demo? Now then! Anyway, the class trial is finally starting! Make sure you guys psych yourselves up! Please wait. Hold on. You're really bugging me. What the, the trial's just about to start? I can't stand inconsiderate robots. <laughs> but there's really a big problem. Look, there aren't enough podiums. Huh? Huh? You're right. There's 18 of us, but only 16 podiums. Hmm. Hey! Hey, cuz! Care to explain what's going on? You didn't mess up now, did you? It's Madame's No way, Papakuma! It's Madame's fault! There, there ain't enough podiums. Mm. No tango midaka. Father! Oh uh, yeah, anyway, we didn't make a mistake. Got it? I know, just let, let's just pick two people at random and rip them apart with the exiles. <coughs> That'll teach the rest of these twerps not to make the class trial boring. How gory! That's too gory! Let's just pick who'll sit out with rock, paper, scissors instead! No. No, all of our lies will be on the line in this class trial. I won't let people lose the right to voice their opinions through rock, paper, scissors. My mood is swinging. But there ain't enough podiums, so I guess two people gotta sit out and just watch. You gotta be kidding me! That makes no sense! Don't say such selfish things! Hey! Hey! Wait, shut up! I don't need a podium, because if I don't participate in the class trial, and these fuckers can't figure a culprit, then I won't get punished, right? Huh? <laughs> no! In that scenario, the people watching from the sidelines would still get punished. Um... Then, then a genius like me should should participate, for the, for the sake of the ones sitting out, you know? Hey, hey! Two people? Huh? We'll make Key Boy sit out, but what about the other person? Any any volunteers? Hey! Hey! Don't decide that on your own. But I don't mind sitting out. Huh? Huh? Makoto? Hey! I trust Kaede. We investigated this case together. You got me. Yeah, well, you guys should decide that without discussing it with us first. Huh? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't agree with all the flip-flopping going on, but I do agree we should discuss it. I guess. Yeah, if the Black End isn't in the trial, then we won't be able to catch any of their slip-ups. Thrills, chills, kills! Worst of all, if the Black End sets out, the trial won't be nearly as exciting. But Kibo's not the Black End this time, so I'll just remove him from the roster. Why? You can't decide that on your own, either. What are you talking about? 
Can you prove you're not the Blackened? Hey. I can vouch for Kibo. He's not the Blackened. I was with him the whole time. That's... If Kibo and Rentaro can both prove each other's alibis, then they're both not the Blackened. Aww. So is it okay if those two sit out? Because I'm honestly getting sick of waiting. Jeez. That's such a selfish reason to make them sit out. Oh, nothing. I don't mind stepping out, but I've got some conditions. Ha! Huh? Huh? Conditions?! Hey. First, you need to let us observers participate in choosing the Blackened. And if we can't agree with the conclusion that everyone's reached, we are each allowed to ask anybody one question. Depending on the situation, we should be allowed to restart the discussion entirely. Understand? So what do you think? It would be unfair to us if you said no. Agreed? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I agree to those terms. Let's just hurry up and start already! How? You agree to that quite easily. Oh, yeah! Even with these speed bumps in the road, the destination won't change. <laughs> the outcome of this trial is absolute. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Oh, you'll understand. Oh, you'll understand soon enough. <laughs> anyway, we spent way too much time noddling. Move your asses already! Ah, uh... oh, father's angry! Oh no! Get to your podiums quickly, you bastards! That is not funny. So, I'm sitting this one out, after all. Leave it to me! We'll be carrying your lives, too. I'll definitely do something about this. And don't worry, we've got the ultimate detective on our side. Huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> well then, we've got nothing to worry about. Well, if something happens, I'll be sure to help. Do your best. Don't be nervous. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Even with everything that's happened, Rantaro is so zen right now. He calmly negotiated terms with Monokuma. I wonder what his talent could be. Ultimate negotiator? With Monokuma brushing us, we hurried to our assigned podiums. And the curtain lifted. A life or death trial. A life or death deception. A life or death betrayal. Life or death mysteries. Life or death lies. Life or death truths. A life or death... Last trial. Right. Okay, so skills. What's this? All right, you can set them up. Sweet. Okay, cool. So you set skills that you have. Uh, effective during non-stop mass panic debates can be combined with shotgun or grenade. One, two, three. We add all three of them. Sweet. Okay. So we return, change tab, there we go. Read the handbook. Review the layout of the academy. This will help you find specific locations. Review evidence of witness or crimes or you've made a record of. Okay. So, uh, 1.30. Died in the bathroom, fatal blow from a stab wound. No other noticeable wounds. Uh, suspicious knife handle, knife. Uh, it's covered in blood, but the blood found on the handle is a different color. Several slash marks from a blade were found on the bed and walls. Short brown hair. Makoto was missing during it. Kitchen knife found. Tenko says there was a man entered the kitchen. So... Hmm. Oh, these report cards on each person? That's kinda cool. Okay, so that's that done. Change difficulty? We can't do that. Okay, time to complete, begin the class trial. All right, I'm gonna get some water into this voice box of mine. Mm. Hope you guys have been enjoying because this has gone on a lot longer than I expected. Um, just because this, this is actually kind of fun. I'm really enjoying this. I'm getting into the Danganronpa. Oh, I, especially if you guys enjoy the voices, I'd actually love to, I would fucking love to play one of these games straight through like this because this is actually kind of fun. I'm getting on board with it. Okay, begin the class trial. Yeah, let's start, let's start, let's start, let's start. Class trial is in session! Class trial is in session! First, a simple explanation of the class trial. The outcome will be decided by your votes. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you vote incorrectly... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, 
And that person will graduate instead! Hey, do you guys really think that one of us killed Hiro? Of course! Going to knock the culprit! I'm not the culprit either! Only degenerate males would commit such an act of violence! We've already ruled out half the suspects? Shit, this is gonna be fucking easy! <laughs> I'm a, I think I'm in love with me. I really am. We can't rule out suspects that way. We need to look at all the possibilities. Agreed. But what to discuss first? Suspicious places? Things? People? Kino looks creepy. That's suspicious enough for me. Nah. Speaking of suspicious people, how about that the one with the strange movie. title? You're talking about the ultimate supreme leader, right? That's super suspicious. Um, should you be saying that about yourself? Now, now, you'll all have a chance to assert your innocence. Okay, let's begin! Let's begin! <laughs> um, where should going to begin? Just gotta tackle the suspicious stuff one thing at a time, right? <laughs> so Kokichi's talent and Kyo's face are both suspicious. I could strip them both butt naked with my magic, but my MP's low right now. A night in the dorms would restore your MP, but the trial would be over by then. First, we have to determine what is suspicious, and what is the truth. In order to make that clear, how about we start by going over the case? I agree. If we sort out the details, we might figure out which parts don't add up. I see. Then let's do it! It's starting soon. The debate to decide the culprit. If I notice anything, I need to point it out. Not just for my life, but for everyone else's lives, too. And now, the class trial has begun! As they progress, don't, during each class trial, non-stop debates will occur! Uh, influence, focus gauge, weak spot... Okay, so you have to make contact with things? During non-stop debates, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. <clears throat> you'll have to use the truth bullets you gather to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you'll find will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the L to aim and fire with triangle. Aim for the gold words displayed in their statements. Those are the weak points. There's a chance that the lies or contradictions are hiding within those weak points. Remember, this is just a possibility, so it won't always work. Also, it can only be refuted by the correct truth bullet. Everyone compare, compare everyone's statements to the truth bullets you have, and shoot your truth bullet at the proper weak point. Also, the pink words are called white noise. Your truth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles. You can use the silencer with circle to shoot down the white noise. Please time your truth bullets just right so they won't get interrupted by the white noise. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Sorry, this is getting long, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> OBJECTION! I'm going to OBJECTION! Bullet, every single time I get the chance. Busy, if you find a weak point, then try shooting a truth bullet out. Oh, I almost forgot! The new element! During the trial, you can concentrate to make time slow down. This will also reveal a small red dot within weak points, called the V-Point. If you hit that with a correct truth bullet, you'll get an awesome V-Counter! Bullseye! V-Counters really improve your score and the number of monocoins you earn, so try that out! Practice your V-Counters in this trial version, so you will look a pro when the game comes out! During the non-stop debate, options will bring up the controls! Give them a look! Okay, let's rock roll. The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure. 
she was a classmate of mine. Sounds like the victim was a hero. And the suspect, Makoto, knew each other. Everyone here is a potential suspect. The murder happened... in Kaede's room, right? More precisely, in Kaede, Makoto, and Hajime's. The three main characters' room. Hmm. <laughs> Even more precisely. It was in the bathroom. So that hero guy... must have been taken by surprise while he was in the bathroom. He didn't even have a chance to resist. Oh! Missed it! It's obvious a struggle happened in our room, right? Then that statement contradicts itself. If I shoot that contradiction with the correct evidence, then I can change the situation. The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure. Alright, so that's what it was. I needed to time it. Sounds like the victim, Yasuhiro. And the suspect, Makoto, knew each other. Everyone here is a potential suspect. The murder happened... in Kaede's room, right? More precisely, in Kaede, Makoto, and Hajime's. The three main characters' room. Hmm. Even more precisely, he was in the bathroom. Right, I've got so this knife. hero guy... Have been taken by surprise while he was in the bathroom. He didn't even have a ah, I didn't hit the right point. Objection! That's wrong! Hey, Kaito, about the room where the murder happened. I think they fought in there. Isn't that right, Kirumi? That is correct. I entered Kaede's room once before the incident and twice after. Prior to the incident, the room was slightly dusty, but after, it was in a terrible state. Just as Kaede said, we can presume a struggle happened in that room. Okay, so that room wasn't such a mess to begin with, then. Kirumi, you went into that room, too? Yes, to clean it. I do this for all the dorm rooms. But I did not see the culprit or hero. I plainly saw Kirumi going in and out of the dorms. She was only in each room a short time, and I didn't hear any sort of struggle. So I think it would have been difficult for her to have killed Hiro then. Which two people fought in that room? We must first make that clear. I think it's that. I think it actually was Monokuma with the minus slashes that were in there. I'm gonna go with that. Maybe, might be, possibly. I see, I see. If Monokuma is a culprit, I don't think he would have to fight with Hiro. If he wanted to kill us, he could do it at any time. <laughs> well said! Shoot! It's such a horrible impression. Um. Well, yes, you're in the culprit. I get it. Well, why didn't I pick that in the first place? Of course. It of course, was it was Hero and the culprit. culprit. You got shit for brains or something? Who are you calling a dumbass? Mass. I'm, I'm kind of a gnome. Luminary of the stars. Don't raise your voice like that. It gets me off. Stop chit chatting and keep this discussion moving. Hey, don't lock me in with that idiot. You're talking to the gorgeous girl genius, Yu Iruma. Yep, you two should be lumped together. Your statements are on the same level. Judging from the state of the crime scene, after struggling with the culprit, Yasuhiro ran into the bathroom. But the culprit chased after him and killed him. That's the most likely chain of events. 
Yeah, that's probably what happened. Well, Kaede, continue where you left off. Wait, why me? Kokichi, don't single out Kaede. In a class trial, everyone needs to contribute. But you know, if we just have Kaede talk the whole time, this might end sooner. You seem awfully wary of Kaede. Do you think she'll incriminate herself if we let her talk? It's not just Kaede and the area. The discussion won't move forward if we all just point fingers. See, it kind of feels awkward that I'm actually just let I have to just let this play through whatever voices they have and I after I've made voices for some of them, so it's kinda of like Like Shuichi said. We need the audio levels are still a bit off as well. This game obviously needs a little bit more of a weakness. So on its vocal levels and on the actual game audio levels. Or the, the be background music. Yeah, what he said. No way Kaede is the culprit. Kaito, this trial won't go anywhere if you don't suspect anyone. Cut it out, you degenerates. You're holding up the debate. I believe Hajime is correct about the circumstances of Yasukiro's murder. What we have to determine now is the murder weapon. Oh, we know what the murder weapon is. The weapon that took Hiro's life. The weapon that took Hiro's life. Are you sure? Because Miss Andre over there looks like she could pummel a dude to death. Let me make this perfectly clear. The art of Neo Aikido is not used for murder. If I had to fight off a male, I'd just throw him across the room. That, um, still might kill someone. Gonta could maybe use fists as weapons, but then Gonta would be no gentleman. Oh, poor Did Gonta. A weapon? There was no indication the body was punched. I don't believe fists were the murder weapon. Keep on moving, game. Our murder weapon is is the knife the stabbed into that his gut. Good, right? The doy? You don't have to be a genius like me to know that knife was the weapon. The knife. Okay, this, this kind of obvious. Right, mind. In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind mind will begin. Okay. In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces. Use the last stick to move the cursor and delete the pieces with the circle button. Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color are connected. Adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. You do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on top of the subject are gone, you select the object as the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gauge will take damage. If there's just one piece left, then you can press the circle button repeatedly to break it. That will incur a time penalty, so don't just button mash. It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get it as you play. We await your response. Mine, mine! Okay, so... This is kind of fun, uh, um, like, I kind of like a mind puzzler. I'm liking this quite a bit, actually. This is quite entertaining to do. Yeah, there is, you can actually do a whole batch of them. So I was just using pink to actually as my base color to work off of, but you can get away with doing a lot of other ones. Uh, right, so if I do that, I mix those. Okay, so that's a problem.
I got enough time to get all these? Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. I don't have enough time. Now, this isn't going to work. I'm not going to have enough time. Time up. Game over. I died. That went horribly. That was a bit shitty. What should I do? I don't think I can do this anymore. Is everyone suspecting me? Hmm, done debating already? Well, this next part's mandatory, so let's get it over with. It's voting time! <laughs> Is there Isn't there anything else we can do? What would you like to... Retry? Retry! They won't give up! They won't give up! So I just have to do mine mine again. Right. So that's essentially all it was. Okay, I've got this now. I got this. I got this, baby. I need to be a little bit more focused on what colors and going with because I need to actually grab entire sections, the largest sections I can, in one go, so that they actually all change together. Because anything that's singled out on its own is a terrible problem. Boom. There we go. Ah, balls. Nah, that was right. By the way, twos are all good. Let's get those out of the way. Um, boom! <clears throat> ah, shit, that's not good. Uh, fuck. Fuck. Right. Uh, huh? Nah, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. That went horribly wrong. It's all gone horribly wrong. It's all gone a bit peat tong. That's an entire block of things that gone. Oh, so thank God for that. So anything that's actually in larger batches need to be done together and avoid making things change in small bits. Uh, try the big one. Do that to that, that to that, that to that, that to that. Boom. Yeah. Ah, oh, balls. Right, how many have I got? Uh, One, two, three. No! Oh, I'm short by. Oh, you son of a bitch. If I'd been like three seconds quicker, I could have got that one. Okay, okay, we got this. I'm debating already? I can try that again. Damn you! So, this is actually going to be a randomly generated thing every single time. Bastard.
Balls! Be faster at this as well. Oh, I made a stupid mistake. God damn it. I'm not gonna make it this time either. Oh, I went completely silent while doing this. I was actually because I was trying to focus, but I'm not gonna make it on this one at all. I'm literally running out of time to make decisions, and I've got way too many single blocks sitting everywhere around here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. What does the... What does Concentrate do? Oh, I get the... Oh, am I an idiot? I was meant to pick that item beforehand. Oh, you son of a bitch. I can just pick it. That's... I was wasting my time there. You bastard. I thought you had to clear the whole screen first before we could pick. But specifically, a kitchen knife, right? Huh? Really? She is so drooly. Yeah, I caught a glimpse of it too. That was definitely a kitchen knife. That's pretty suspicious. Maybe you just saw it wrong. How could I see a kitchen knife wrong? Everyone knows what those look like. A knife? I do remember seeing a knife in the kitchen. That could be it. I see, I see. An excellent deduction from the ultimate detective. Well done. Uh, it's not because I'm a detective. I'm still in training. You really don't need to be a detective to know that the knife came from the kitchen. Yeah, it looks like a kitchen knife. Either way, it's exactly what Shuichi said. One kitchen knife is gone from the kitchen. And the one who took the knife from the kitchen is our culprit. Well, one would assume. Who cares about the murder weapon? What do you mean, who cares? We can already guess who the culprit is. There's a super duper huge hint already. Are you talking about the murder scene? What? Atua says the occupant of the room where Yasuhiro was killed is the culprit. Well, you say the occupant, but Makoto, Hachime, and Kaede were all in that room. Wait, you're suspecting us? Well, the murder did take place in our room. It's understandable that you suspect us. But I didn't do it. It might have been our room, but I never even went inside before the murder. I didn't either. Okay, did you? I definitely didn't do it! After Monokuma told us, I went into that room for the first time and saw Hiro dead. The murder scene was in yours and the other's room. Also, you were the first witness. If you don't have evidence to prove you're not the culprit, then you're still suspicious. No way! Ugh, I already told you it's not Kayede. Suspecting her right off the bat is so mean. Hey, you're the one who brought it up! Did I ever say Kayede's the culprit? It makes sense to suspect the first witness as the culprit. Taking shortcuts like that won't get us the best. Maybe. Coming from a suspect still sounds suspicious. But like Hajime said, we can't afford to get caught up in assumptions. We need to talk this over more to uncover the truth. This is a test. Huh? This is a test? I agree with Hajime. We still have many questions about this incident. As long as there is room for debate, it is rash to decide upon the culprit. That's right! If we give up now, the class trial will end! Gonta are not good at tough subjects, but Gonta will work hard for everyone's sake! That's right! We need to work together so we can overcome this class trial! Smoothly so far, but huh? Did you say something, Makoto? No, it's nothing. Either way, we've got three main suspects now. The culprit is not necessarily among them, but.
but they remain suspicious. It's not any of them. I believe in these guys. Well, right now, they're the most likely culprits. Oh, oh! Maybe one of them took the knife from the kitchen? If that's the case, that would be pretty suspicious. If we can determine who took the murder weapon from the kitchen, that would clear Kaede of suspicion. First, we should listen to Kaede and the others' testimony. That would be best. I'm certain they've been longing for the chance to speak. That's right. Kaede, are you okay with that too? Yeah, we have to at least try. Wait a second! I'm all for lively debate, but I won't allow KG Kaede to participate! What? Why? Because STFU! That's why! Because <laughs> STFU! Shut the fuck up, you goddamn motherfucker! What, what does that mean? It means it'll stir the fun up! Get it? <laughs> Nintendo agreed. Right now, the fun's just simmering. Anyway, instead of KG Kayede, is all that remains of a one. We're gonna have someone else deliver their testimony instead. Make a shit ton of excuses for why you're not the culprit! Okay, but before all that, what am I supposed to do? Is it magic? Do you want me to unleash a deadly explosion spell? No, I don't think we need magic. We need to talk about the kitchen knife. Like, did you see that knife? What happened in the kitchen and dining hall? Anything? Maybe I can help. All right, I guess I'll just do it then. Kaede, I'll leave this to you. I want you to discern our voices. No, it's very hard to do with this goddamn audio. To begin. The mass panic debate. Mass panic debate. This is gonna be a pain after all, huh? Oh no! All three people are talking at once. Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence! There's a panic in the courtroom! Oh, that's right. It's time! You will now be thrown into a mass panic debate! During the mass panic debate, three debates will happen at the same time! Be real calm. It's just like a non-stop debate. You're just hearing triple the opinion. Simple? Right. But don't get cocky! The mass panic debate will also have loud voice dialogue! In which... It's when one of your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice. That blocks out everyone's arguments, even if you can see a weak point. You can't refute it. <clears throat> oh no, what do I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, uh, luckily this is just white, white noise. Shut them up with a circle button silencer. After all, all the arguments will be audible again. Sort through everyone's opinions, find the lie or contradiction, and refute it. You can also use v counter so if you're confident, Give it a shot! Thank you for your time! Sincerely, System! <clears throat> Mass Panic Start! I was the king of the witch of the In the dining hall. So there's no way I could have gotten the knife. She was teaching me the difference between real magic and a magic trick. It was just the two of us there for my lecture. All the different voices are confusing me, but I'm sure I heard a suspicious statement. Okay, according to Tenko's testimony, there should be a contradiction in one of these statements. I was with Tenko. I never went to the kitchen. In the dining hall. So there's no way I could have gotten the knife. She was teaching me the difference between magic and a magic trick. I didn't know that. I hear it. Was that it? Wait a minute. 
While Tenko and Kimiko were in the dining hall, there was one other person who went in there too. Ah, okay. So that makes sense. Um, Tenko, were you drinking tea by yourself in the dining hall? No, I was with Himiko. She was teaching me the difference between magic and magic tricks. We were here together when the whole body discovery announcement was made. I see. And during that time, did anyone else come? I think so. It was just one person. A degenerate male, actually. I don't know who, because I wasn't interested in seeing the exact degenerate that walked in. Isn't that right, Tenko? Yes, that's true. But I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. I was too focused on Himiko's lesson to notice the exact degenerate that showed up. Well, that gives Himiko yeah, knows. You even said you weren't interested because it was a man who walked in. Then what about you, Himiko? Did you see who came into the dining hall? Yeah. Now that I think about it, someone was in the kitchen. Someone who's no longer with us. Okay, this is weird. The many games in this are absolutely odd. When you have to deduce how things are connected, Psyche Taxi will start up. The objective of this mode is to gather the letter cubes to form the question. Use the circle button to accelerate, then I'll stick to move left and right. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you complete the question, you have es you head toward the escort that has the correct answer. If it's the right answer, they'll get in your car, and if it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. Also, there will be other cars on the road. If you hit those, you will take focus energy damage. It's like getting dangerous, use the R1 to concentrate, stay calm, and avoid them. Please drive safely. Enjoy the ride. Thank you for your understanding. Good grief. Psyche Taxi! This is odd. Crazy Taxi! All thinking time? I'm trying to actually stop in time. Got that. Okay, was I meant to stop? We take the escort and we're going back to the hotel. Because why do you take a hoe to the hotel? Because a hotel. Everybody. So these are simple questions that we could probably have answered without having to play a game. Hey! Who is not here? The victim. Who is the victim in this case? Yes, to hear Hakakure. We got that problem solved. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Question solved. Even though it's a really simple goddamn question. Don't know why we're actually still trying to figure this out. <laughs> Are you saying Hero's the one who went into the kitchen? Uh huh. There's no mistaking that. That dumb, dumb hair is. 
then the one who took the knife from the kitchen is. It's reasonable to assume that it was the victim himself, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Whether it was for self-defense or murder, however, remains a mystery. But that's strange, isn't it? Why would... Yeah, that weird. He no one would stab himself in own stomach. <laughs> You're clearly out of your element. I already have this whole thing figured out. Tell us, me, what do you think it actually is? Did he actually, was he planning to shove the knife handle up his butt for sexual pleasure? Is that what it is? Is that what you think it was? As a hero, dude, totally stuck himself in the gut. Which makes this a suicide, baby! Ah, uh, too simple for you. I expected at least one swear word in there. No, that's not possible. As we already discussed, there were signs of a struggle in that room. I'm kicking my own ass, did I? <laughs> oh, oh, you noticed. I was just testing you idiots, in case you'd forgotten. It seems that the culprit took the knife from Hiro and used it to kill him. You mean, culprit could be person who not bring knife? Too bad. I guess Kaede's still suspicious. And so are Makoto and Hajime. Maybe we're thinking too hard. Isn't the first witness suspicious after all? First witness? You mean Kaede? Suspicion now falls upon you, Kaede. Do you have an explanation? Hold up! I didn't do it! I know it because we were being controlling her the entire time. Unless she blacked <laughs> the fuck out. Shake like a fucking rabbit. Hey, there's a swearing again from the bitch. Just relax. This'll all be over once we reach the climax. Don't get so excited, Mew. No matter what she says, I'm not the culprit. But how do I convince everyone? So, tell us, Kaede. You're the culprit, aren't you? No, that's wrong! Yeah, you've got that wrong. Oh? Ow? The tweeds just said their catchphrases! Finally, this is getting exciting! I believe you, Kaede. You're absolutely not the culprit. Don't give up now, Kaede. You can't let it in here. For all our sakes, here's two. Makoto, Hajime. Kaede, don't give up hope. Keep going and you'll be able to reach the truth. You're right. And that's what I wish for, too. But how do I prove my innocence? That's... Fine. I guess my decisive testimony will help us find our culprit. What? You know who culprit is? That means everyone not have to get punished! Then, after we hear Kokichi's statement, we can take the rest of the day off. I can finally go back to my warm, familiar bed in the dorm. Hmm. Huh? You're used to it already? Kokichi, if you had information like that, why didn't you tell us sooner? I said something that important right away. That wouldn't be much fun. Anyway, the culprit is Makoto. Yeah. I was suspecting this myself. I don't know what it is, what? but I think Makoto is what actually... Is he, he is being too nice. So it could be that he's actually been there trying to actually get her on his side the entire time. Is Makoto messed up? But he's also the ultimate lucky student, so this is not a good sign of luck. Makoto is the culprit? That's not possible! I, re I really do want to believe it's impossible, but... Makoto has no alibi for where he was after we split up, and only appeared after the murder. Maybe during that time... I mean, Makoto believes in me, so I want to believe in him too. Might be able to help Makoto... if I lie! Did you hear that? A lie?! Now I know that sounds crazy, telling a lie in a class trial. But sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. Oh, but don't worry, there is no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, there will be times in a debate you have to lie. Before you had to refute the lies, but now you'll have to lie yourself. Doesn't that get your heart pumping? Here's how it works. Select a truth bullet like a normal, like the normal non-stop debates. 
When you hold triangle, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet with the opposite meaning. Releasing triangle will shoot the lie bullet. Would you, when you use a lie bullet to argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury. A statement that paints over the truth with lies. When while lying, your influence gauge will drain. A successful lie will restore it. But if you mess with your lie bullet, you will take damage, so be careful. You can't be counter here, but you can pull off a V perjury. But that would and that would be awesome, so try that. Thank you much, Lee! So a non-stop debate where I have to drop a lion here. Hmm, okay. May we hear your testimony? I saw Makoto leave that room by himself! I swear! May we hear your testimony? Okay. Before the body I saw Makoto leave that room by himself. I swear. By that room, you mean the crime scene, right? Makoto looked like he had just murdered someone. Before the body was found, hmm. I didn't go into that room even once. So Kokichi must be mistaken. And he appeared after the murders, but I want to believe in him. I have to lie about Makoto never being there. May we hear your testimony? Okay. Before the body Right. I saw Makoto leave. I'll turn this lie into the truth. <laughs> I must make it true. I well. don't object. <laughs> Ever since I woke up in the academy, and up until the body discovery announcement, I was with Makoto the entire time. So Kokichi couldn't have seen him. Hmm. Kaede, you'd rather choose a lie than the truth, just to protect Makoto? Do you have any proof to show that I'm lying, Kokichi? No, nope, none at all. I lied about seeing Makoto. Why you? Don't mess with us! Ah. For you to make a false statement when our lives are at risk, I am not amused. I just wanted Makoto to talk, so I simply tricked him into speaking. Why beat around the bush like that? Because it's still not clear where Makoto was before and after the incident, right? Oh, man. I totally thought Makoto would talk if we started accusing him. Ah, right. And then incriminate himself. Makes Responding sense. Responding to an obvious lie with another obvious lie? I don't know about that. Oh, yeah! After I heard the body discovery announcement, I checked out the rooms. Kai Idiot was all by herself. And Makoto wasn't even there! It's weird that they would split up after they found out a body had been discovered. I don't get why you would do that. Can you explain, Kaide? You wished to Okay. Him. There is beauty in such a wish. But Kaede, your lie is far too fragile and fleeting to protect anyone. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Kaede, tell lie? What the new understand? What is lie? Thanks for believing in me, Kaede. Of course, I hope that time never comes. I just realized I, I forgot to actually start talking with dogs. I mean, listening to them talk that much. We didn't clear a single thing up. Yep, that was really fun. The remaining time is slowly but surely dwindling. Huh? There's a time limit too? Of course there is. No one wants to watch a literal non-stop debate. That shit's boring. Hell yeah! We'd have to rip and tear into your huge guts just to make it entertaining! No. Don't know, Testa. 
Gato. We know that Hero brought the murder weapon, the kitchen knife. And bought the culprit in Kaede's room, where the culprit took the knife and killed Hero. We haven't narrowed down the suspects at all. Yep, now you know. A single person narrowed down. The other two are still suspicious. That hasn't changed yet. Uh, what a pain. Kaede, just confess already. I don't need to confess just because it's a pain yeah. for you. Well, really, at this point, it really is starting to become a pain for me because this is long, guys. Super long. I think we should listen to him. Hmm. Atua? So you literally are listening to her connection to her god. No way am I going to let them pin me as a culprit for that reason, but if I tell them I'm not, then they might suspect Makoto instead. Anyway, we have to discuss this even further. But what other clues are there? It can't end like this. No one wants an ending like that. So, Hajime? Leave this to me. Everyone listen up. Like we said, Kaede isn't the culprit. Do you have evidence that proves that? Also, I don't tolerate lies from anyone. But especially not from degenerate males. Got it? It's no lie. I have the evidence. Something was dropped at the scene of the crime. Right, Kirumi? Right. I think I know what you're referring to. It was on the ground, but what about it? And there's something else. Kaede, you know what I'm talking about, right? Something off about the crime scene? Right. Something off? That thing left on the ground, and the fact that something was off about the crime scene. If we put those two things together, we'll have all the facts. Uh, is that... Wait! Oh, wait! That's it! I won't let you go any further! Why? Because this is just the demo version! You fucker! Oh! Ho, 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 fuck you, Monoguma! Oh! Me and you are gonna have a motherfucking reckoning! Fuck you, bear! Fuck you! Are you fucking serious? Fuck! <laughs> I look forward to seeing you guys start your real killing game semester! No, man! No! Fuck you! Mm mm! <laughs> you are the epitome of an asshole! Fuck you, Monokuma! Eat all of the dick! Our acting. <laughs> it wasn't too shabby! I especially liked how convincingly you wasted everyone's time! I was a little worried about the end there. Hope it was exciting enough. Well, since we got through it smoothly, that's it for today. Smell you later! Good job, everyone. Good job! See ya! Hey! Wait for me! No! Ah! One. This is an announcement! How nice! Two. Hell yeah! Of a once powerful note. So long, farewell! Avida and goodbye! You're worse than the fucking Nazis! God damn it! God fucking damn it! Oh! Oh! So angry! So very fucking angry! Oh. Jesus Christ! Oh! Mm. You son of a bitch of a game! Right, folks! So that was Dangon Rumpa! Version 3, demo version, killing harmony. <laughs> 
If you've made it through the entirety of this broadcast and watched it all the way to the end of this, we're coming back to this. We are coming back to this. Danganronpa version 3 will be my bitch. We will be returning to this motherfucker, and I want to find a way to destroy Monokuma himself. We will fi I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find the first couple of games, I'm gonna find out what the crack is, we're gonna find out if there's an ending where I get to watch that fucker get crushed, because that, that was not fucking fun. Yep, yep, that wasn't fun. Well, it was fun, but you know what I mean, not fun, the ending, because that was garbage. Fuck me. I want to break something. I really want to break something now. So, anyway folks, if you enjoyed watching Danganronpa version 3, demo version, all the way up until the point of just teasing us with no climax at the end, then uh, oh, 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 feel free to hit the subscribe button up here in the corner. Um, and if you don't like doing the subscribe thing, then feel free to <laughs> do uh, Just memorize the name. I'm, I'm, I'm disheartened and broken by the events of this video. I'm just... Uh, Oh god. Oh, thank you JP for sticking around all throughout this. All you guys who are watching on the streams, thank you very much for watching through the suffrage of the tail end of that. But um, that I, I really enjoyed Danganronpa and I really enjoyed doing the voices of characters. It's a lot of charm to it. The game has a lot of good positives, uh, but I'm really, really interested in seeing uh, murder now. I, I, the, the killing game is now my game. I feel it. I feel it inside me and I'm ready. I'm ready to take part, guys. Because, <laughs> fuck me, fuck me, that wasn't pleasant. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed that, uh, this will be also on YouTube. Boop! There'll be a button up here for subscribe. There will be a playlist up here. Over on the far side will be a recent video. And right here will be a video just for you. That'll be related to this video in some way, shape, or form. Or to the things that you search for on YouTube that'll be based on the stuff that I make. You should check it out because it'll be the most enjoyable thing for you to see on this channel. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next class trial. Bye.